Uh, what's up fam, Street G35 back at it again today. It seems like a good weather outside, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do. Today is install the front grill for the G35. And um, yeah, the procedure is pretty much the same as the 350 and any other kind of part. Um, generally, it does not came with a pre-cut hole, so you might have, so you would have to do it, you would have to do it. Um, step by step and I'm gonna show you how to mark it before you start drilling the door you know how to put a clip on and go to the front supporter of the radio so, but yeah I'm gonna show you guys right now I'll see you in a bit hi fam here is Street G35 it's parking So I came to, it's a little bit an issue as you guys might notice I have a bracket for the end cooler for the turbo, you know all this modified brackets I did it myself, but it's poking out just a little bit, it's not too much but it's just enough to actually touch and pushing the bumper out, so when I try to put the grill, the new carbon fiber grill. This one is just it's a little gap, as you can see, because it's kind of poking out. So I try to get it flush as possible. So what I'm going to do right now is just try to cut it. Just cuts a little more out. So yeah. So we just the carbon fiber I had. Just came down a few days ago. On the existing one, you might clearly see. I mean, I could see it. The back one's a layer smaller, and that's why it gave so much gap on it when you close enough to hood. And this one is a little bit open, you know, which is better for close up gaps. After that, I'm gonna show you guys how to mark. You know, I, you might know this way. The new one it is not came with the pre hole, so I have to mark it. The plastic one I used to have is it had existing hole, so I'm gonna try to mark it to where it, you know, already have the hole on the radio support right here. So you don't want to mess it up. Make sure you mark it. Make a fit and everything, make sure it stays flush as possible, and then you mark it. Start drilling on the, on the, the drill itself. So, yeah, I'll do that right now. So, here it is. I just made a cut right now. As you can see, it's much more flush, and it won't touch the bumper anymore. So. Sucks though. That piece, the one I cut, it fell down. It's behind the bump. I'm gonna try to grab it out. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, and you guys will see after I finish it. The cut, so it's pretty simple. So to be able to get your the new carbon fiber grill stay flush to the bumper. You have to, uh, so pretty much, you have to, I'm gonna take it out right now, I'm gonna show you. So the, the cane is like this, as you can see, at the bottom, all this thing, you, you see the cane poking out. It's kind of like supposed to be holding to the bumper, so here, so, hold up. You can see this, I believe that's what I made for, but, it seems like it's poking out a little too much. So what I have to do, necessary I have to do is I have to cut it. Just, just so it can not be stay poking too much and it's, it doesn't look flush. You know? But now since I cut it, it looks way flush.
you didn't cut it, this thing is um, hitting the bumper and it's just poking out way too much. Doesn't look that good. It says that. So I bet you put it. You just go ahead and um, make a hole wherever you want it. The existing hole. You know, I just made this hole both sides right now. And also I'm gonna start making some hole right here too. So yeah, that's simple. So what you guys, I'll make it simple, what you guys need to do to cut this thing is just use that, you know, or use any, any kind of thing you put, you know, we cut there, because you don't want the fiberglass to get into the skin, it's just, it will get into the skin, it's, it's the worst feeling ever, so you gotta be very cautious, I recommend you wear glove, but I, me, I, just, I don't wear because, you know, I just gotta be very careful and not touch all the, you know, fiberglass piece, so. When I'm cutting it, I just kind of like, it's like that. So I just cut it each and every spot. Yeah. All right. So we had a resort. We're looking way much better than the previous one. The plastic one, I think. That was a cheap plastic one. You guys gotta be very cautious though. There's a, there's a lot of people that made a they jump it up the drill bit side way too, you know, too, uh, too quick. You gotta start with a small drill bit, just go slowly. Cause if you start away too big, when you put a clip in, it's, it's get, you know, when you move, try to move, it, it's get bigger up. Start with a small drill bit, make sure it stays. When you put a clip in, it stays snug, just like that, you see? It's nothing, it's moving. That's how you want it. Driving, it, example, this thing is get it loose, wake it up while you drive. It's, it's, it's not gonna be a good idea. You could imagine all kinds of stuff might happen to it. You know, fly away, break this, crack, all that kind of stuff. So make sure you stay snug, everything snug. Just kind of slowly when you make a hole, you want to lift it up. Just a little bit so you can see through the bottom hole on the, the existing hole on the radar support and then you start to mark it up on the top with a marker and then that's when you start one by one you start don't don't jump it up mark it up all at the same time do not do that just so you just start the first one start on this one and then you mark it up, drill it slowly, and then put the clip in on that one. And then you start on this one at the end. So you start on this one, and then after you put the clip in on that one, you start on this one now. And then you slowly drill it, just a perfect snug hole is not too big. And then you put the clip on this one, and then you slowly step into the center, the middle. Lift it up the same way slowly and then you're looking at the existing hole on the way to the support and you kind of mark it some way and you start drilling with the smallest drill bit. You'll feel it when you drill you you'll you'll feel it's going through that means you you know it's going through the existing hole that means you drill on the right spot. Obviously you can see as you drill so start slowly expanding the hole just to be enough for the clip to go through. Just like that. Close the It's gonna be much, very much better. It won't be super flush flush, but it's way better than the existing one. Simple, very simple. I know this carbon fiber, it's, it's pretty old, probably about four years already, five years already. I've been parking outside, and as you guys see, the heat just they couldn't handle the heat anymore. And it's faded out. So, I work 
recommendation is that you know use the small drill bit do not jump to the biggest bit you know to the side of your bumper clip just yet you want to start with small one just like that pretty much but I like to put the camera down because I can do it on both hands I need both hands to make sure I drill it perfectly The coffee is dirty right now. After I get a new transmission coming down this Monday, wait, today is Friday. It's like two more days, Friday and Sunday. And then Monday, the new CD009, known as CD Sojo A, is coming. Look at that. She's looking amazing. The face flush. The turbo is way too big. I had to cut the common hood so I won't touch it. Other than that, it looks amazing. Nice.